the Metropolis Stadium, but I know the concert must be sold out. Now, whoever could that be? Uh, uh. Hmm, that's strange. <laughs> <laughs> Why, eat the cat. You're just playing hide and seek with your love. Hi, Annabelle. I have a surprise for you for your birthday last year. Oh, Ake, I just love the prizes. Oh, Ike! Tickets to the Melvis the Cat concert in Metropolis Stadium? Let a have it and night your sing! My dreams have been fulfilled! I know how badly you wanted to go, Annabelle. They were the last two tickets left. And guess what? We can see Melvis before the concert at the Thanksgiving Day Parade riding the Stinky's Cat Food Blimp. Wanna go? Whoa! Oh, no, Ike! I have to get ready for the concert! <laughs> Leave me alone, man. Melvis, let me heave. I mean, let me help you out of here. <laughs> Much appreciated, Colonel Tom. Now give me a chili donut, man. Hey, now, Melvis, maybe you should just take it easy on the chili donuts. You know, we have that big stinky cat food aid campaign coming up. Oh, what does it matter anymore, man? My career is over. My life is ruined. Por favor, Melvis. You gotta give it a little more time. Tomorrow, after you do the Thanksgiving Day Parade, we'll re-sign the stinkiest cake food to you. Oh, that's another thing, Colonel. Riding around in that silly blimp every Thanksgiving. It's degrading, man. And I realize that I do, and I'll bring that up at the board meeting. I will. They'll have to pay you more. Your career is going to get a much needed boost. Where? What career? All I've got to show for my years of hard work is a bunch of cheap, horrible movies that have bombed. I haven't had a hit record in 20 years, and people are starting to say I'm a, a has been. Stud. What's that? Nothing, King, nothing. I've had it, man. I want out, Daddy-O. I want my fans to remember me the way I was. I'm gonna disappear. Disappear? Melvis, you... My mind's made up, Colonel. You can't do it, Melvis. The stinkiest contract. I mean, we'll get more this time. We'll get more. You make a comeback, I promise. Oh, why don't you hand that contract over to Wally the backpipe playing weasel, Colonel? Ah, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Have you gone mad? It's a cat food, for goodness sake. No one wants a bagpipe playing weasel selling cat food. The stinkiest people on Melvis. Melvis the cat. Uh, after tomorrow, there won't be any more Melvis the cat, man. I hear the music, but I don't see anything yet. Boy, I can't wait to see Melvis. I don't care what anybody says. I think he's bigger than ever. Of course he is. The guy eats ten pizzas a day. Hey, <laughs> this guy is still a Melvis fan. Don't you know the guy's so fat they're trying to get him to work at SeaWorld? In the whale pool? <laughs> How easily people forget. Melvis started it all. Yeah. Yeah. 
There you go, King. Have a nice flight. Either this blimp is getting smaller every year, or Johnny Blubberbutt has been rock star is getting fatter. <laughs> go ahead. Laugh all you want, man. After today, you won't have the king to kick around anymore. I'm telling you, while there the weasel could be a sensation. It's a, it's a, it's an edgy, an edgy, unique 90s approach to the whole thing. Wally, he's a weasel and a talented one at the head. Now that the cat is the stinky spokesman, Colonel, you seem reluctant to resign him. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I just feel that a, a commercial star in Wally could give the stinky's campaign a much needed boost. <laughs> We know what you're up to, Colonel Pockmark. You do? Our research shows that Melvis the Cat is due for a major comeback. The comeback of the century, in fact. But of course, you already knew that, you sly fox, you. <laughs> well, I, of course I knew that. But, uh, yeah, I, hey, oh, how about, how about that Wally the Weasel? <laughs> Mr. Stinky! Mr. Stinky! Stinky. You look right, Mr. Stinky. What a Stinky. pleasure! Sit down! All right, Colonel Pockmark, let's quit playing games, shall we? I realize we may have treated you and your client, Melvis, a little unfairly over the years, but that's going to change. Mm? Melvis the cat is Stinky's cat food. I'm not going to beat around the bush, Colonel. We want Melvis the cat to re-sign the Stinky's contract, and we are prepared to pay you $50 million for that right. <laughs> Fifty million dollars. Holy smokes, Melvis the Cat just blew up! Ah! <laughs> oh my ah, Melvis is in trouble! This is the worst catastrophe I've ever seen! The Stinky's Cat Food Blimp is burst into flames! Oh, this is terrible, terrible! It's falling to the ground! I've never... Oh, it's terrible! I... <laughs> Come on, Jack, change the card. Oh, uh, sorry, Clive. Oh, but you murdered me! Oh, it's terrible! I am a king. I am a king. Oh, my God, the king is broken into individual pieces. I got you, Melvis. I got you, Melvis. I... I got you, Mel... He's gone! There's nothing left! We deeply regret the loss of Melvis, Colonel Pockmark. I'm afraid that since the King has blown into a million unidentifiable pieces, the deal is off. Well, uh, maybe, 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 maybe he survived. I, I mean, I mean, Melvis is a real a survivor. Nothing could have survived that explosion, Colonel. Nothing. Yeah, well, I, 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 I guess you're right. But, but. <coughs> it's a miracle. He's alive! Mel is alive! Long live the king! Oh! Oh, this is astonishing, people! It's like the rebirth of Mel the Cat! The second start in life! Long live the king! He's right! Look at this! The crowd actually seems to care about Melvis again! The press will have a heyday with this! Our offer stands, Colonel. In fact, we'll double it! It's a deal, gentlemen! Would you like paper or plastic? <coughs> yeah, but I... No, you'll excuse me. I, I must take the king back to place land to recover. Oh, finally, I found my place in the sun. A place where I can just be me. A place of my own where no one will recognize me and try to tear the sweat-stained handkerchief from my paw. No fans for thousands of miles. Just that big white doggy over there. Huh? Kumbaya! What the heck happened? Why is my hair in a greasy wave the size of the one in the title sequence of Y50? So you're awake? How do you feel? Fine, except I can't remember who I am. Well, I'll tell you who you are. You're a hero, man. I am? You saved Melvis the Cat's life. I did. I seem to remember Melvis's blimp exploding and then a lamppost. That is correct. You pulled Melvis from the wreckage and then hit that lamppost. Well, gee, where is Melvis? Is he going to be okay? Well, some thanks to you, he'll be just fine after he uh, recuperates. You see, he was hurt pretty badly. So badly, in fact, it 
Well, I need your help. My help? Melvis asked me to ask you if you would mind standing in for him while, while his bits are sewn back together. You bear a striking resemblance to the king, and, well, it would really help him out. Me? Help the king? Sure, it never hurts to help. Great, great. It'll be, well, our little secret. Melvis would hate to worry his fans. All right, the first thing we have to do is familiarize you with every detail of the king's career. See, I'm already pretty familiar with the life of Melvis and his incredible skyrocket to fame. Yes, yes, but by the time I am done with you, you will move, breathe, talk, walk, sing, sleep, think, stink, overeat, and wink like Melvis. You can count on me, Colonel. I'll do my very best. Fox Kids.